Hello and welcome to another episode of Dragons Are Real and we are looking at virtual tabletops. Um, thank you for your comments. Um, one thing I'm going to say is before you suggest other virtual tabletops in the comments, please check out the uh, the playlist on the website. Um, you can see in the playlist uh, there's a category there called virtual tabletops. Uh, and these are the ones that uh, I've already covered. So uh, don't go um, asking me to cover something that I've already covered because that's not going to happen. The idea behind this series is that uh, I'm going to cover some different virtual tabletops. There are no recommendations. This is just a look at them. And usually it's going to be a first look. So uh, I'm going to be trying them out without any experience to see what the user experience is like. I'm not going to cover Roll20 Roll 20 or Fantasy Grounds uh, because they have been well covered on other channels. Um, if you want a good series on Roll20, then I suggest that uh, you uh, check out the Follow Me and Die um, channel on YouTube. My good friend Larry Hamilton is doing a series of Roll20 for absolute beginners. Check that out. Uh, for Tabletop Simulator, then if you want to check that out, check out the Murder Hobo channel on YouTube. Um, as for Fantasy Grounds, I've played it um, as a player, but I've not actually um, hosted it. Uh, but there are plenty of channels on YouTube for Fantasy Grounds, so check that out. And as to Astral, I may cover that at a future date. But on this episode, I'm going to be covering Battle Map, which is at battlemap, the two P's, dot I-O. Um, there doesn't seem to be uh, any documentation on the uh, uh, on the web page. There is a YS, um explains why you should look at them. There is six YouTube videos that shows the um, how to uh, to do some things. So check those videos out. Um, the features page shows you a free version and a premium, a premium version. So this is going to be looking at the pre free version. If you want these extra things here, like more generator options, extended props, free top down maps, expanded effects, then you want to go premium. Although if you click the premium button at the moment, it takes you a web page that doesn't exist. Um, so which is a bit bizarre. But uh, maybe that's that's coming and on an on the blog explains uh, why um, how they made battle map uh, and basically the gentleman that made this was bored during uh, the current pandemic and wanted a feature tabletop so he decided to write his own and this is it so let's get back to battle map let's launch it and see what happens so it's, a, it's obviously a browser based And I'm running this with Chrome, and as you can see in Chrome, I'm getting nothing loading. So let's try a different browser. This may be uh, some of the extensions that I've got installed, I have no idea. So I'm going to um, try it with Vivaldi browser, and let's copy the web URL, paste it into to Vivaldi and see if we get any luck in Vivaldi. Vivaldi is a Chrome-based browser, but I've got no extensions, uh, or very few extensions activated in this one. So let's see if we get any better. And here we immediately see that we've got a progress bar loading. So that is uh, something to uh, bear in mind. If you don't to get it to work in your first browser, maybe try a different browser or try a browser with them. Um, less extensions installed um, and we'll see what happens now. So uh, we're waiting and let's see if uh, anything happens on this browser. And there we go. We're into the screen. Let's make this full screen. We've got a, a welcome. So at the time of recording this, which is the 13th of October 2020 uh, this has been uh, battle map has been going for a month we have a new campaign load game map maker settings and exit so let's click on settings so we've got our video settings with our 
we can show the frame rates. Um, we can set up uh, the on the left hand side here. We can set up these. So if you are having issues, then we can reset these to make it lighter for our machines. And our screen resolution. I'm running this at uh, full screen mode. Uh, so uh, I think next let's have a look at Map Maker. So as you can immediately see, we have some sort of isometrics uh, screen here. We've got our tools down the left hand side. Uh, there are no mouse overs to tell us what, what happens. Oh, yes, there is uh, down the bottom. So we've got our landscape tools. Um, so click on the tips panels. So oh, here we go. So we've got our landscape tools, build tiles, walls, stairs, rooms, and more. We've got um, shape tools. Uh, we've got plant tools. Um, we've got a change of play mode. So we've got a, a variety of um, items here. And I believe that there is a... And we click on here, we see um, we use the camera to... Uh, we use our keyboard, WASD, to move the camera around. Hold shift when building to continue using the current tool. R when building to rotate. Uh, up and down, arrow keys up and down, move through the layers. Left click is drag to create walls and rooms. Right click to dismiss current tool. So these, when we click these menus, it would appear that we get to other menus. Now this is the one that I believe will generate us um, a random map and we've got looks like a town or we've got a forest uh, woodlands so let's click the town we can change the percentage of chance of buildings trees plants big buildings I'm going to leave this uh, mix of cultures so you can pick different types of towns I'm going to leave it at default click generate and see what occurs And here we have a random generated town. Um, I have just right click now and that seems to have uh, acted, activated a scroll mode. But if I use the W, A, S and D keys, we can move around. Let's uh, go back to our controls. Uh, left click and drag to create walls, right click to dismiss current tool, uh, current control to rotate the, uh, hold and left, left control to rotate the view. Um, so let's try that, so left control, oh yes, as you can see now, we've got very nice scrolling effect, very 3D, it reminds me very much of Tabletop Simulator in that respect, but we've got some nice, um, rotation there let go of the control and then we're back to our w a s and d keys uh, it doesn't specifically can zoom in so uh, with these tools over here it looks as if now um, we can measure so that's a, that's the measurement tool so if you want to measure between two points we can do we've got the switch camera view and at the moment I don't seem to be able to switch off the other oh, right click gets you off the view um, camera view so our camera view gives a straight overhead shot and I just click full screen so there might be a render delay yeah well it seems to have there we go Maybe we'll just stick with uh, this view. So if I go back to this, the controls are a bit janky here. So let's switch to the camera view again and that's good. It takes us back to our 3D view. Uh, let's see now, I'll click our plant tool and these are the plants that we can place. And we get a selection of trees and I'm guessing that I can just drag them out although you click on them 
and then you can place them. You can click on random, It'll give you a random one. The controls, as you can see, are a little bit janky at the moment, it's only been out a month, so um, there you go, back to full screen mode. So let's click on a tree. And now we seem to have hung up now. All right, let's try again. So click on the tree tool. And yeah, let's try and see if we can exit out of this and get back to see if we can load map and see if we've got any maps that have been added by the author hmm I'm going to come out of this if I can so I seem to have the crosshair tools and I can't seem to get rid of the crosshair tools at the moment. Yeah, there we go. Cancel right. So let's go back to the settings. Let's try something which is a little bit less intense. So I'm going to go for Now, at the moment, none of the controls are working. So, there we go. So, let's try and it's, I wonder if it's let's do the player mode. At the moment, the controls on the left are not working for me. So I'm going to come out of that and let's go back to the start and try and launch again. And see what happens this time. Now this might be the machine I'm using, um, but as in, uh, I didn't notice anywhere that said what uh, minimum requirements are. Um, so at the moment, we seem to have launched the screen, but now we've got nothing. So let's try a complete page refresh. See if we can get back in battle map. As before, the screen was black with a. Um... Let's just shall we see if we can try an edge browser and see if we get anything in edge browser. Because Vivaldi seems to have now died on me. <clears throat> there was no mention of what browsers to use, recommendations. So, fortunately, I've got several browsers installed on this. But at the moment, um, we're back to the black screen now. So, there's obviously some sort of uh, cache here. Um, that was interfering with it so we could see if we get any better on the edge browser as you can see this is a real world experience i'm using this in the middle of daytime so there's no one else in the house so i've got no um other bandwidth issues um i've got 55 meg downstream so um this is the actual speed that things are working at and we'll see if we can uh, get anything else working in the battle map. So you can see um, that is, it's slow to initialize, but if it's uh, using a 3D um, 
environment then there's obviously a lot to install so so we try to load game and see if there are any there's nothing on load game at all and there's nothing on new campaign it won't allow me to click those so it looks as if you've got to start with map maker so now you can see that i have got to the icons appearing again so this time let's try and generate a countryside to see if that ticks up less memory there we go so that's a right click let's see now if we click on these bushes we can actually use and there we go so you can see now I am actually able to place bushes but it looks as if I have to click on one each time to place one I don't know if, was there a clone um, so there we got some plants let's see now what else we got we can drag characters on we've got a choice of let's click it with a druid on and we're going to see if we can zoom in now um, holding control will rotate it so we'll get down and let's move in now. What I would like, oh, there we are, zoom, there we go, zoom. And you can see we've got a nice bit of animation here actually on the character. So the controls are similar to um, what we've got in Tabletop Simulator. With the W, A and S, D keys. And it looks as if the issues before is maybe that I had too many objects um, on for my machine. Because now we're uh, getting a lot better quality. So that was uh, a characters. I'm guessing that this is a monster. So yes, we can drag a giant on. And the very nice animations on these uh, on these uh, characters here. Uh, what else have we got? We've got animals. We can drag a bear on. Let's drag a bear on. And then we've got a raise rules, a raise tools. Which I'm guessing, if I click on one of these, yeah, highlight it, it's going to erase it. So let's. Um, so we've got some characters on there. I'm going to see them in it. Um, if I click escape, does that? No, nope, that doesn't get me out of the game. That just uh, right click again. So we've got uh, our characters on there. Uh, what else can we do? Um, lighting. So we can set the darkness or light, and we can actually tint it. And by the looks of it, we can place it. So let's put a red light up here. So we've got a red light. Um, we can move that light around. Right click it with shape properties. But that light doesn't seem to, um, oh, there we go. There we go, bring it down. There we go, we can see the light. Uh, what else are the tools we've got here? Uh, that's our sci-fi. We don't want sci-fi. Buildings. That's being a building. So structures. That's beds. Buildings. So let's bring in a village. Hmm. Okay, 
shapes are for drawing shapes, obviously. But the controls are a little bit janky. Um, if I so here is our characters. We can by right clicking on them, double right clicking. Uh, we've got stance idle, armed. We can add text to it. Ready. So this is on the uh, the person behind. So when we move, we've got uh, animated action. Dead. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Effects fog. So we can place fog on the battlefield. Um, nice choice of items here. And then to get to delete anything, just click on it. And if you can hit the right thing, you can delete them. But again, it's uh, not easy. Right click, gets rid of it. Um, world tools. Okay. Placing mountains, and that's for overhead maps. Pre-made maps. Ah, so let's try a pre-made map. Oh, that's just install. All you're doing is placing that on the the maps already here. So the motor we we've got edit mode, and we've got play mode. I'm guessing. So in, in edit mode, we can actually move things around we can move things out of the way you don't seem to be able to delete things but you move them around so yeah let's have a look we've got a notepad i wonder if by going out overhead it's going to get any easier to edit this see the effects of it here these are some of the items i've placed but uh, you would think that by selecting them um, you can't even drag and drop i'm guessing that to do it then you will need to find the controls that you're using, plus the erase tool if you remember, and then move over the item you want to get rid of and click on it. But even though, even then, um, that is the fog tool I placed the fog with. There we go, that's finally gone. Um, our map tools, same for the map tools, I want to get rid of this map. Um, doesn't seem to be a delete tool for this. Um, it was a barrack, so if I click it again, does it get rid of it? Or does it just place another one? No, it just places another one. Hmm. And every time you click it, it's just replacing another one, but, uh, but I haven't found out a way to get rid of it yet. So, yeah, it's a bit janky at the moment. Um, It's got some potential, certainly. Um, there's some very nice animations, but um, I think it's still early days. Um, that's landscape tools. We can build walls. 
so you can build individual walls so you can build uh, buildings and walls so uh, yeah I would say that if you want to have a look at uh, this battle map um, please feel free to check it out um, see if you can get on any better um, than I do um, it might, might be my machine related but um, we've got a patreon here let's have a look at the patreon this is probably uh, where you're going to join um, it's five pound per month plus fat um, and that'll give you a version one still application when it's released it's not been released yet uh, expanded characters expanded effects props so it might be uh, one worth to, to bear in mind uh, keep a lookout for and uh, see um, where it goes with this but as you can see uh, I've tried it uh, it's my third browser I finally got it to work and even though then it's a bit janky but um yeah check it out it's uh, battlemap.io